This tutorial is going to show you how to use the gradient tool. The gradient tool is over here. When I put my cursor on it, it's going to say gradient tool. And it's one of my personal favorites. So right off the bat, I'm going to use my color picker to choose, mm, I'll choose an orange and possibly a red, vibrant red. I'm going to click on my gradient tool. You'll notice my tools change at the bottom. Probably most of yours will look like this if you click on it. And that's showing it's going a gradient from my foreground to my background. But if I click on this drop down, as you notice, I can go from uh, my foreground to transparent, black and white. There's all kinds of options, but I'm just going to explore this on foreground to background color. And you'll notice my cursor, it looks like a plus. And if I go from, uh, and I'm in this tool right here, I can go from left to right. It looks like I'm drawing a line, but I'm just showing where I want my gradient to go. It's a fill, so it's going to fill the entire space. And it's a gradual change from the uh, orange to red. Let me choose a yellow or something. Maybe that will give you more of an impact. Let's try that again. So it's going to be a gradual orange to yellow, so you can kind of see it. If I draw a short line, it's going to be a more drastic change or a more finite change from the orange to the yellow. And I can draw that line any direction depending on how I want my gradient to be. That's this first tool, which is the linear gradient, meaning it's going over a line is my word, root word. The next one says um, radial gradient. So hopefully you see that radial it has a root word of radii, which is the root word to radius. So hopefully you're seeing that it's a circle. So I'm going to draw the radius of a circle and I'm going to have a gradient that's circular of my foreground and then my background. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to draw a large radius and you can see it goes from my foreground to my background. If I do a shorter line it's going to be a more drastic change. I can do it anywhere. Maybe it looks like a sun setting that's your gradient tool, okay? You can do that anywhere. You could switch them if you wanted to have a different effect. All right, and that's the gr gradient tool with the radial. The next one is angular. I'm not particularly fond of it, but you might like it. Clicks and it has this weird, I don't like this drastic there. So, and again, you can draw your line any direction. Shorter line, more, um, Shorter line doesn't really have that big of a difference. The next one I believe is a reflected gradient. So I think it goes foreground, background, foreground, if I remember correctly. So I'm going to choose that. And it, sometimes you can, don't see a big change in it, but if I do a short line, you'll see that it goes, oh, I did set it backwards. It goes background, foreground, background. If I wanted it the other way, then I'd go this way. So it's similar to linear, but it has um, a repeat of the color. And then finally is the diamond gradient. And it's very similar to the radial, but instead of a circle, you're doing a diamond. So that's a cool look as well. That's the gradient tool.